Beggar's Start was Beggar's Banquet, and uh, it was 1973, it was a record shop in uh, Ells Court, I believe. And um, it then became a record label um, in 1977, which kind of tied in with the whole kind of, you know, the punk thing that was going on at the time. The first record was um, The Lurkers Ain't Got a Clue, which I bought, actually. You know, we went from there to Bauhaus, it was Cocteau Twins, it was Pixies, to Cult, um, Prodigy. From Prodigy, you know, there's been, you know, White Stripes, Dizzy Rasco, and uh, the biggest starts on the label right now on XL it, it, it is Adele. And, uh, you know, I've been there since 1995, um, which is, I think, is it, this is year 19. And uh, I've held, I was, I was international promotions, and then I was director of UK promotions, and now I'm director of TV and film, and I'm, I make videos, um, myself and James worked on a video for Daughter for Youth and Stolen Away, uh, Knock Me on the Head. So yeah, I mean, you know, it's, uh, I feel very honoured and very privileged to have been a part of it. I got into where I am now by, by being in, I went to see a band in 1978, I was 11 year old, and uh, UK subs, and weirdly, weirdly afterwards, um, I had tickets for other, for other punk gigs, but I think my mum got wise to it, and it never happened, so I, I didn't see Stiff Up Fingers, and I didn't see Spiz Energy, let's go way back and stuff. And I've always, I was in a band back home as well, and I've always, I've always been in that kind of creative process. So I plugged videos, pr promoted videos to MTV um, over the years, uh, to the box, all, all the different music channels. And then I, I made, I don't know if you remember, Channel 4 did these little things called four plays, which were 11 minute, um, I've made about six or seven of them, and I produced them. And I always kind of fancied a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a go actually. And uh, I've, I've, the first video I did was, um, I say directed, it was um, it's for an artist called Kid Harpoon. Um, and I, I wrote the treatment and um, I'd, I'd never directed before. So I got my good, very good friend, Russell Thomas, and Russell's, uh, he was like my mentor. And um, he directs the MTV Awards. And uh, I said, Russell, look, I've got this thing, you know, would you direct it for me? So he directed it and I just, I was, it was, it was my treatment, you know, the, the, the thing was, and you know, but he, it was nice to be able to sit and, and, and learn from, you know, somebody, you know, who's, who's a master of that kind of thing. You know, I talked about that today in the master class about how, it, you know, build a team of people, you know, and uh, James here, you know, um, I'm not just saying it because he's sat here, <laughs> but um, I never want to have anybody edit apart from James because, you know, we, 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 we had a situation during the daughter video where I said, James, James, you need to change, you need to move the thingy. And he just went, Ksh -ksh. and he knew where it was, he knew where the thingy was. Um, but it's true though. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, my, my old boss, um, he works at a company and, and, and they deal with a lot of, um, you know, I think, I think the terms heritage artists and, you know, it's that whole behind the scenes thing. You know, it's that whole kind of thing, how I just finished a tw 20 minute film with the Crimson Ells boys from Leeds on Stone with the making of the album. And um, you know, for when you do something like that for the fans, it's a wonderful thing because they see, you know, you know, they see the process of how that tune that they sing along to, or they practice or playing the guitar, how that kind of came around. For the fans, it's a winner. It's like um, uh, DVD extras. Yeah, that's a DVD. A, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that, the, exactly the same thing. But you no, know, you mentioned about you know the um, the whole kind of you know how the promotional thing has has changed and stuff. You know, the, the bottom line is. You know, I always have a laugh with this with people. It's like Moses in his tablet back in the old bi biblical times. You know, tuk, 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 tuk. it doesn't. The the um, you know the story remains the same. All that's changed is that is is you know it it you know is the method that has gone out there. I talked about that today about you know how how labels will, will promote you know videos online. In the old days, for MTV, you had to have you had to have the, the finished video and fill in a, a, a submission form, and it had to be in at twelve o'clock on a Friday. If, you'd, if it wasn't in by 12 o'clock on a Friday, you had to wait an hour week to get that. And now, instant, you know, as soon as that video's done, it's, it's gone. It's originality. It's originality. You know, I talked today about my kind of bugbear is forests. There seems to be a lot of videos of forests. Everybody seems to be in forests. That's because they're free and all that kind of stuff. I think, you know, what makes your video stand out is something um, that nobody's ever seen before. I think, and, and that's a big ask. But I think, um, and also it, it depends. It depends who who you're working with and, and who the artist is. Because I showed a video today 
as part of the Beggar Show reel, it's uh, David Byrne of uh, Talking Heads in St Vincent, this track, um, and their video. And it's just the two of them at the side of a road. But it's a very engaging video because that's David Byrne from Talking Heads. He's the guy in a big suit. You know, and St Vincent's a great performer as well. And they, it was a very simple idea, and, and they brought that out. It's got to be something that um, sets the artist's stall out as well. It's got to be something that defines that artist. It's got to be something that, you know, you've, you've, you put it on and you watch it and you go, that's, I now know, I, I can kind of buy into to what, that, to what that's about. I think, I think as, as technology moves on, that, that then we'll move on with that. I think music video, you know, is that kids have got like cameras on their phones all day, every day, you know, and, and people are making content all the time. I'm a, one of my friends, David, works at MTV, you know, he, he said that, you know, all those kids that are doing all these different things, when they start getting a hang of it and like working it properly, the, the standards are going to go up. And uh, there's a lot of music videos around and there's going to be more. And uh, I just think, great.